I was born in Newark, which is an extremely diverse town in Essex County, New Jersey. When I completed preschool, I remember seeing a few white kids, more black kids than anything, and even some Hispanic kids. Fast forwarding to first grade, my family made a move to South Plainfield, New Jersey, and the ratio from black to white had reversed compared to my previous experience in Newark. Now when I was a child, these thoughts didn't entirely cross my mind, but as I grew up, I realized the effect it had on me. Soon after that, my family made its last move to Greenbrook, New Jersey, and man, did I feel like the odd one out. There was only one other black child in my class, and naturally, I'm a very talkative individual, and I've been this way my whole life, but walking into that big, colorful classroom for the first time at this new school, I turned shy. I didn't talk unless spoken to or called on. And maybe it was because I was so shy, my teacher moved my seat next to the other black child in my class. I couldn't recall a time where I saw him speak to another kid or raise his hand to answer a question either. And when I first sat next to him, I didn't talk to him either. But after some time went by, we looked at each other and we smiled. We talked, laughed, and disrupted class every day for the rest of the year. I was so glad to have finally found a friend that made me feel comfortable in this new environment. I finally remembered how much I loved to talk. It was a lot easier to talk to someone that could relate to me and my feelings. You might ask yourself, what feelings could a seven-year-old have that they would need someone to relate to them? And that feeling is loneliness. The feeling of being alone, not included, not seen. The majority will never need to ask themselves this question because everywhere they go, they see people that look like them. When their parents go buy a picture book for them and all the people in the books are white, or when they go to the toy section of Walmart and all the dolls are white. Representation is a big part of a child of color's life. It helps them know that they shouldn't feel alone and that they are seen. It helps them know that when they do feel alone, they have a teacher, friend, or staff member of color to go to to help them sort through this feeling. Someone that may have went through the same thing when they were a kid. Being a minority is hard. The everyday person doesn't notice the little things around us like we do. When my brother went to high school, he played on our football team. One day he came running to the car saying, we have 25 black kids in our grade, we're growing. Now that may seem like a lot, but my high school is an average size high school. Each grade consists of four to 500 kids. 25 black kids is like 5% of the grade. Basically, the chances of you sitting next to a black kid in class is way lower than if it were any other race. My brother was happy to tell us that, and my mom was happy to hear it. And that's what I mean about being a minority is hard. In the last 10 years, the Black Lives Matter movement has been at the top of the media. Black Lives Matter was founded in 2013 when 17-year-old Trayvon Martin was brutally murdered. In the last few years, people like Eric Gardner, Michael Brown, George Floyd, Beyonce Taylor, and Ahmaud Aubrey have been at the top of the media because of their deaths. Now, as great as it is that some of these murderers have been charged and convicted or some type of legislation has been passed to prevent more black people from dying, it still doesn't take into account the people that were, were killed but weren't fortunate enough to be recorded or shown in the media. Are they seen and do their lives matter? Recently, I was pulled over in a predominantly white neighborhood. I've had my license for a little over seven months and I've never been stopped before. As soon as I saw those lights, my hands instantly started shaking. My anxiety had consumed me and I could no longer process what was happening around me. I had a white male in the car with me. When he saw my hands, he said, don't worry, everything's gonna be okay. I couldn't even listen to him. How does he know everything was gonna be okay? I'm thinking in my head, what if I'm next? The officer walks to the passenger side door and says, can I have your license, registration, and insurance? You know, the usual. When my hands are shaking so bad, I had to ask my friend to take out my documents for me. The last time I've been this nervous is when I walked into a class of 26 students and only one of them was black. The officer let me off with a warning. As soon as the wa officer walks away, my friend looks at me and says, see, everything is fine. Don't get so worked up about it. He doesn't get it, and I don't blame him for not getting it. He's a white male, he's never had to get it. 
To him, I'm just your average 17-year-old girl who happens to be black. But to the world, I'm black first, and the rest of that follows. I say all this to say, how often do you take in your surroundings? Do you look to see what shoes people are wearing, if they're wearing a mask or not, maybe check to see if they're looking at you? I want all people, no matter what your race is, to check and see if there are people of color sitting next to you. Do they look uncomfortable? Are they alone? What if your friend makes a racist joke? Do you laugh it off or do you call them out on it? Take this time to self-reflect. Not only will it improve your character, but it will encourage your peers to do the same. And to my fellow minorities, Zora Neale Hurston once wrote in an essay she titled, How It Feels to Be Colored Me. And she said, sometimes I feel discriminated against, but it does not make me angry. It merely astonishes me. How can any deny themselves the pleasure of my company? It's beyond me. Time has an inability to feel compassionate or empathetic to the struggles that we face from day to day. So value yourself. Strive for galaxies beyond human imagination. I see you, you see me, and we see each other. Thank you.